Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to the video on Ansible to ServiceNow integration. Uh, so this is my ServiceNow environment and this is my Ansible environment. Now the use case is we want to uh, uh, perform two things. One is we want the user to be able to launch a VM and the second thing is we want the user to be able to install a configuration which, which is an Apache server on this VM. So we'll see how it is done. So in ServiceNow, I have installed an uh, application called CPG, which is Cloud Provisioning and Governance. And I have configured a cloud catalog item. Uh, I call it as AWS VM. So when a user requests this uh, catalog item, it will provision a VM in AWS. So let's say this is my AWS environment uh, and this is the VM that the user wants to provision as a Ubuntu VM. Now to do this, user will log into ServiceNow. He will make a request to this Cloud Catalog item. So when he does it, uh, Cloud Catalog item has a component called Resource Block. Uh, a resource block will have operations operations will have steps or step depending on the operation now this operation uh, and the step will do this work of launching a vm so how does it happen uh, it will invoke a aws api so this is my mid server layer so this is my mid server uh, so aws will communicate to this uh, and service now will also communicate to this. So, so this step will make an API call via mid server to AWS to launch a VM. AWS will respond back with the uh, VM information and this is all stored in a component called stack in service now. The stack will have uh, the VM details, it will have NIC information, uh, NSG, all that information which is required to uh, provision this VM. So now that completes the first part which is launching VM. Now on this VM the user want to install Apache server. So to do this we have to create uh, a resource block on this VM. So this is my VM. So again we will make a second resource block. So this will run on virtual, mesh, virtual server. Uh, uh, this is a virtual server resource block. And it will have again one operation, it's a custom operation we'll create, I'll call it as uh, install component and it will have a step. So the step will do the work of installing httpd on this server. Now how does the user request this operation? So user will again uh, log into portal, he will uh, access this uh, uh, virtual machine uh, which is this one and from there he will make a request to this resource block operation which is to install this component so it basically comes here so he'll make a request to this uh, uh, install component operation and that will do the that will make the call to this step right now to uh, run any configuration on this vm we will make use of ansible so ansible is a concept called playbook uh, which are nothing but set of instructions which will run on this VM. Now for this playbook to communicate to this VM, we need to provide uh, host information and key, the SSH key which, has used to, which is used to log into this. Now this information has to be sent to this playbook to execute this configuration. Now how does this step send, invoke this playbook? So to enable that, Ansible comes with a component called Ansible Tower which gives the API. Now using this API, uh, this execution will happen. Now for this Ansible tower to invoke this playbook, we have to build a component called job templates. So this job template uh, is the, uh, the component which will invoke this playbook and this is accessible by API. So now uh, for service now to invoke this API, we will create something called as subflow. A subflow will have a REST API step which will uh, 
via MIT server, it will invoke this API. And now when we call this API, we will get a job ID as a response back, uh, which is used to track the status of the job. Now this job ID status also we want to uh, get in service now. So we will make one more REST call to get this job ID status. And once we get these two, we want to keep this uh, operation or the step updated on this execution. So we call it as uh, CPG status update step. So this will in turn update this step. Now how does this step know which is the subflow, right? To bind these two, we have a component called correlation ID. So we send this component to subflow when we call this subflow. Now we also mentioned that we have to send host and key information. Now these two are available on this VM. So how do we send this to the subflow? So to do that, uh, in this step, we have access to an object called context. So whenever a user makes a request to this operation, uh, ServiceNow creates a request item and that has a context record for that. This context has ac uh, access to an object called order and this order has access to this stack. right? So that is how they are connected. So this is the stack and this order has access to stack. So now because I can access this stack information from the step, I will send uh, those two parameters also, which is host and key to the subflow. Now the subflow will then send it to the job and then everything else happens on the Ansible side. So that is how the integration works. Uh, so I'll just do a quick recap. Uh, we'll cover this uh, HTTPD installation piece, right? So we'll create a custom operation called install component in virtual server resource block. And in that we'll add a step which we'll call a subflow. Now to this step we will send two uh, parameters. One is uh, correlation ID. The second one is host and key. Now this host and key information is accessed uh, via an object called context and which in turn accesses order object and then that in turn has access to stack object which is the VM and that is how we do it and uh, the subflow will make a call to this API which is uh, Ansible Tower API and invoke it will invoke this job template uh, and it will also try to get the status of the job and then it will send this uh, status back to the uh, uh, step so the user will know whether the operation that he has performed or she has performed is successful or a failure. Accordingly, they will uh, take the next steps. So that's how the integration works. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Anil.